welcome to the State of Wyoming Subject Matter Minute, where we cover a wide variety of subjects related to State of Wyoming employment. This information is for you and me, the state employee. From hidden benefits to systems and processes, we'll make your job easier by giving you the lowdown, the how-to, and hopefully entertain you a bit along the way. And now, today's Subject Matter Minute. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Subject Matter Minute. I'm Matt Nagy. Thank you for joining me. So today's topic is training. And that got me thinking about the fact that I have never given you guys my work background. It definitely didn't begin in training. Okay, so if you've got a second, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I ended up at the state. All right. So you already know a ton about me. So why not this? And you can always skip it by going to the show notes and clicking on the little number there. You'll see it. It's linked. Okay. All right, so it all began at the University of Wyoming where I got a broadcasting slash journalism degree, okay? And the nice thing about UW and these sorts of degrees is you actually get to use the equipment. So we actually made television, okay? Now, this was before computers were used for any of this stuff. So we were using what was called three quarter inch tape and Betamax, and these tapes are monstrous. The three quarter inch was huge, thick too. That meant we had to have a large deck with a shoulder strap with that took those tapes hooked to the camera to shoot video okay it was a pain but we didn't know any better okay so after i got my degree i stayed where i was and worked for uw tv which means i basically worked for the guys that taught me how to do television i did that for like nine or ten years okay then i had a kid <laughs> then i had a kid my boss at the time uh, was allowing me to flex my time, which was awesome. And then a coworker became my boss and decided that didn't work for him. So I quit and became a stay at home dad. Okay. Side note, that first day that I was home was the day that the planes hit the towers. And it also happens to be my birthday. Anyways, I've been creating some websites on the side. So I was bringing in a little bit of money, but it was great to take care of my girls and raise them for a few years. Then Governor Friedenthal came in and created an organization called the Wyoming Distance Learning Center, and I felt like maybe it was time for me to get back into the workforce. And it was a great choice. Okay, we were tasked with helping any state agencies or organizations with their distance learning. Okay, it was fun, it was hard, and it was short <laughs> because then Matt Mead came in and killed the program. All my coworkers, quickly got jobs elsewhere and I was absorbed by the state. This was back in 2012. Little side note here, I missed tier one retirement by two months. So I'm a tier twoer, which means that I have to wait till I'm 65 in order to get full benefits. It was 60 in tier one. So that stunk. All right, so I feel like there was a topic I was gonna talk about today. <laughs> oh yeah, training. So that is how I became the e-learning training guy at the state. And as such, I am responsible for training. So I've created some training, I've collaborated with some folks for some training, and I've found other sources of training at the state and I've put it all together on this neat little website or web page on the ANI website, okay? So if you are in need of training, if your employees are in need of training, or you are just curious to see what we have, come on over and I'll show you on the ANI website. Okay, so here we are on the colorful AI website. It's simply ai.yo.gov. Okay, so go there. There's a couple ways to get to the online learning page. You can go up to divisions, human resources, consultative services, and there's online learning right there. Or you can go the easy way, come down here to under four state employees and click on online learning. All right, so Read the intro, you'll see that we've created things on yotraining.yo.gov. You can access my YouTube channel here uh, and you can subscribe, <laughs> okay? Now, the first thing up here is suicide prevention. These courses are provided by the governor's office, the Wyoming Department of Health, and the Wyoming Department of Administration and Information, okay? They partnered to provide these. They usually cost money, but they are now free to state employees, and there's a bunch of different ones, okay? so. That's really good information for both somebody who is feeling suicidal, but also for somebody who knows somebody who may be. 
okay? So if you're interested in that, watch this little intro video. There's an infographic right here and more information here on the Wyoming Department of Health's website. Okay, and if you haven't noticed, I've been sending out financial literacy webinar emails once a month. This is a lunch and learn that is put on by Society for Financial Awareness. Okay, they're very good. They're put on or they're done by Matt Gill here. He's good. And these are the past uh, topics that we've covered. Okay, so you can click here to any one of them. They're actually all on the same page, so it'll take you to the same place. But make sure that when you get the email that you sign up because you'll get an email about the recording. And honestly, the live version is very good. He'll answer questions as well. As as all my longtime listeners know, we have access to LinkedIn Learning Training. Anyone at the state or anyone actually at the state that has a library card, okay? The state library puts it on, but anybody with any library can get there, all right? So you'll have to input your card number and the pin WYLD to access it, okay? There's a link to the login page. There's more information from the state library. And of course, there's the Subject Matter Minute episode all about it. All right, next down here are all the courses that I've created over the years that reside on wildtraining.wild.gov. Okay, so take a look at this list, check them out. You will need a key to get into any of these. There's a link to the keys right here. It's not really keeping anybody out. That's really just so I can sort by agency, okay? And then down below that, we have more that are more geared towards managers and supervisors. Okay, some of them are videos that anybody can access, but check those out if you're a supervisor or a manager or want to be. Next, we have a large catalog of training from risk management. Okay, so if you click on this catalog right here, it'll open up the catalog and they have anything from active shooter to hazardous materials handling and all of them have a preview button okay so let's just say let's do driver safety let's open that you can go through this preview i don't think it's the entire course which wouldn't make sense but it gives you an idea of the quality and if it's what you need so we have access to all of those through risk management and if you want to access those talk to your hr rep and they will get you access all right, next we have a short list of miscellaneous courses that didn't fit anywhere else. So check those out. Most of them are videos on YouTube, so easy to access. And then finally down here at the bottom, we have the Subject Matter Minute latest episode, as well as a link to the Subject Matter Minute page, which puts all of the topics covered in a list. You can also go to the blog, the audio only stuff, and you can go to the playlist on YouTube and you can subscribe. <laughs> All right, so that's the a &I website. If you guys have any more training available to Allstate employees that could be put on this page, please let me know. Okay, so this is part of what I do at the state and now you know where to find it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and until then, I'll see you next time on the Subject Matter Minute. You have been watching the Subject Matter Minute with Matt Nagy. Please help us out by subscribing. And join us next month when we'll cover another topic of interest for all State of Wyoming employees. Again, thank you for joining us on the Subject Matter Minute.